Oh, just a quick update as of the 24th of July see how things are going the onions are starting to bulb up a bit now outside the spring onions have gone bonkers I've got absolutely millions of them now garlic still growing so they should be quite a good size when I come to pull them up carrots are doing all right there's a few poking out there I need covering up or they'll go green A few more beetroot there. They're getting a bit big too, but rocket's gone over now, so I've got a few other lettuces planted there. Leeks seem to be doing really well this time. There's a new variety called Oarsman. It's supposed to have really long, long shafts. Now I've been I've cut the first of my broccoli, as you can see, the, the head. There. I'm on two of them, so hopefully I should start getting some. Oh yeah, there's some new growth coming, some spears coming. That's the last remaining head, and it's, as you can see, it's a decent size. Now my peas, I've almost picked all my peas now, but I've had about 10 carrier bags full, so... Can't complain about those this year. The red cabbages are still growing enormously, but... Oh yeah, they are hearting up now a bit. And then there's these beauties. I should really pick these. Or I might even leave them for the show because they are humongous. I've never grown a cabbage, a cabbage as big and it's pest free, not a mark on it. So that's that little bit. And here we are back with a pumpkin again. It's growing like mad. Sending out all these side shoots, laterals, whatever you want to call them, but there's no blooming pumpkin on yet. And it's getting a bit late in the day. There is, however, one, one there, so I'll need to get this flower opened and try and pollinate it with a, a male flower like one of these myself. Otherwise, I'm not going to have a, a pumpkin on. So, anyway, it's got plenty of look at the size of it. Still growing well. It's a good area. Now, into where my spuds and stuff are growing, this is a pretty miserable sight. All my crocosmia coming out already, that's usually a sign of autumn, so... Ooh, hope not. A few sweet peas out and things. It's like a jungle, isn't it? Ooh. Then this thing's appeared, this gunnera. I don't remember planting it. It's... So where that's come from, I don't know. Anyway, I've been picking loads of potatoes. I'm going to stir you wouldn't think so. Absolutely millions. Over on the exhibition carrot front, the ones that are not diseased are doing really well. So I'm just get in and show you the top. I don't know whether you can see that. The top of one. It's about an inch and a half across, so it's looking good. And then these are the long ones in the big tall box. And judging by the grit, by the top, I should have some big long ones. So they're looking all right. I've never succeeded with these yet, so it'll be a novelty to get a good one. And then there's some exhibition potatoes here in bags somewhere. Uh, I should really have a route about and see if they're any size yet, but I've not had time. I've sown a few more peas down here as a last, a last crop of the year. And I don't think my sweet corn's going to do much. It's looking a bit yellow and... Uh, and small. And then finally into the old polytunnel again. Oh. These are the exhibition onions. And it's, they are slowly starting to bulb up. If you can see the size. They'd be about a pound, pound and a bit now. Got loads and loads of them. About 70 growing actually. So they should have about another month to grow and hopefully if they have, if I get to about two, two and a half pound I'll be quite happy now. And then these are just these odd tomato plants I put in just as just for a laugh. And they're absolutely covered in trusses already. And then there's this butternut squash thing that's growing everywhere. It's only one plant. And it's growing up, up the wall, across here. 
behind me courgette, which I'm getting sick of now, taking about three every day. There's another one, oh lovely. And then French beans, they're still producing well. Every day I seem to be picking them again, just getting sick to death of them. They're everywhere. And then this caught cucumber thing. It doesn't have any cucumbers on it. I don't know. Just don't seem to produce. Oh no, there's a little one there. Maybe that's growing everywhere too. So. And then finally, the silly little, silly little, silly red onions, which they must be about two pound now. So all I've done is just watered them. I haven't fed them. I've put a load of granulated fertilizer in and just watered them, and that's it. So that's it at the moment. Oh, it's warm in here. The shallots that I pulled up from outside are drying out really well. Let's see what temperature it is. It's been today. 45.1 degrees it's been and down to eight and a half and it is now 105 degrees. Lovely. That's about it. Bye.